Oh, we all know you earned your retirement. Like, yeah. everybody know that. Did you see my response? We did. Yeah, no, we did. Oh, we did. I meant that from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> I meant that from the bottom of my heart. I'm going to spell you. Because I know you ain't like that. Mm. I'm going to spell you. But that is you look at my eyes. For, to the toilet, you know, I'm with it. The motherfucker think when you get money, like, you got to separate from certain. I'm still my daddy's child. Oh, yeah. I'm still I love my that. daddy's child. My daddy ain't raised no punk and I don't play no games. What up YouTube, it's your boy So Crazy TV, back with another video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more videos. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Udonis Haslam and Paul Pierce. Udonis Haslam went in on Paul Pierce once again. I made a couple of videos about this, but UD just went in, man. It was the OG's podcast and the Club 520. You know, they did a collab. They did a video, you know what I'm saying? And in that podcast, Jeff Teague brought it up, and then Udonis Haslam just went in again, man. And he said some more stuff, man. So we're going to dive deep into this, man. We're going to unwrap this. And I got a couple of videos for y'all. I appreciate y'all, and I love y'all, man. Roll to 4K. Let's get it. It just had to do with the Celtics, and everybody know how I feel about the Celtics. Everybody know how I feel about Buddy them. Redacted. Yeah, everybody know how I feel about Buddy them. <laughs> Who Buddy and them? I ain't gonna say buddy name because somebody gonna get hurt because I don't keep I'm gonna stop playing him. I'm gonna leave <laughs> him alone. Him somebody get hurt. Oh, Paul Fish. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I say his name. I'm gonna buddy leave buddy. Call the mug. Yeah. No, listen, I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't be with all the Twitter fingers and all them games playing. Like I'm gonna leave him alone for somebody to get hurt. I ain't gonna lie that. Listen, I'm I always say funny. I think funny. I play too much. That was funny though. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Well, he said that like nah, he still nah, you still was giving. Like, oh, we all know you earned your retirement. Like, yeah. everybody know that. The pettiness. But was the so pettiness crazy. that he said that was like, nah, it's, nah, it was good. I got real smoke. Yeah. And then, and did you funny. guys, did you see my response? We did. Yeah, no, we did. Oh, we did. I meant that from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> I meant that from the bottom of my heart. I'm going to spell you. Because I know you ain't like that. Mm. I'm going to spell you. But that is and you look funny at me though. my eyes. For, to the toilet, you know, I'm with it. <laughs> the motherfucker think when you get money, like, you got to separate from certain I'm still my daddy's child. Oh, yeah, I'm I love that. my daddy's child. My daddy ain't raised no punk and I don't play no games. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm with all that. I love yeah. it. What, what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to I'm disconnect from that situation because yeah. I don't play like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing, what I said, I spoke on them as Celtics players. I never spoke on their accolades. I never spoke on what they accomplished. I always give them credit for that. Yep. Now you now you on some other. I ain't playing that game. Now that ain't basketball. I'm going to leave that alone before I hurt you. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean that. <laughs> nah, respect. So, hey, put my glasses put back, glass on, back on. Yeah. Put my glasses back on. Yeah. yeah. Hey, put, hey, put hey, the Trinity back up, OG. Put my glasses back on. Put the Trinity. The Trinity went crazy. don't understand is, dog, I do. I get on this podcast and I go meet with commissioners and I go meet with lawyers and I sit down. But boy, I'm still in the hood every day. <laughs> every day. This beef that they got, this rivalry all started in their playing days. But as soon as they retired, man, and as soon as UD got his jersey hung up, Paul Pierce had to comment below and be like, hey, man, it was given, not earned. And that's when UD went at him and said, I'm going to spare you. I ain't going to take it to violence, but you ain't like that. I did a couple of videos on this, man. Now, Jeff Teague is hilarious, man. Jeff Teague is instigating right here. He is, his instigating card is on Hall of Fame, y'all. And he got UD started and UD just went on, just went in, man. He just went on and on. So now if y'all missed the videos that I did, y'all could check them out. But I got a couple of clips from them old videos that all started everything. When Paul Pierce made a statement saying that it wasn't earned, it was given. I really felt some type of way about that, man, because UD put in that work for Miami, man. It may not be on the scoreboard, you know what I'm saying, but he earned what he's gotten. You know what I'm saying? He really earned it, man. And some people commented and said that he didn't earn it or whatever. Uh, he's trash. Whatever UD does ain't going to come up in the stat line, man. UD does what UD does, man. And for Miami, he deserves what he got you know what i'm saying he ain't gonna make it to the hall of fame he knows that but his hall of fame is getting his jersey retired by miami and miami did the right thing for ud now paul pierce didn't get personal though 
I, I I can agree with some people saying that he didn't he didn't get too personal. He didn't, and he just stated it. But at that time, you don't when a dude is getting uh acknowledged, you don't you don't throw shade at it, man. So that's all I gotta say about that. Now, Jeff T, hilarious, bro. Bringing up that starting the heat again. You know what I'm saying? Stirring it up for UD to go on this little tangent that he went on. Now, y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. Was UD wrong? Was UD wrong about what he said? He said he'll hurt him, man. He said he ain't playing, man. He's still standing on business like when he sees him. You know what I'm saying? So now we're going to react to the old videos of how this whole thing started. And then we're going to close it out, man. I appreciate y'all. Let's get it. Against Kobe, against Timmy, against KG. Other than being three of the toughest guys to ever walk the planet and three of the best players to ever live, was there something else that jumped out at you about those guys, either collectively or individually, just that just separated them and made made greatness even greater? Tough guys, you said? Yeah. Well, tough, elite, all of it. Just was there something uh, about two, two, two of those guys? I would probably say I consider tough guys, and that's more so mentally tough. And one of those guys just do a lot of this. That's not <laughs> tough at all. So we we going this this the 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 definition of tough guy don't go by guys that do this. So you know that Tim. So I understand. I want to take KG. You probably want to take KG off that tough guy list. Now, great basketball player. <laughs> great basketball player. Yes. Um, you know, those guys, those guys, competitive spirit, um, you know, those guys, uh, you know, the way they led their teams all in different ways, you know, um, obviously, you know, Kobe was a guy that basically said, uh, you know, I'm a lead, I'm gonna knock down every wall. Uh, I'm gonna I'm push every brick. Um, and you guys just get on board and follow. And, and, and if I can implement, you know, my mentality and, and, and my heart into you guys, then we'll be all right. You know, that's the way Kobe, you know, did his thing. I think Tim Duncan quietly was just a quiet assassin. You know, just one of those guys that didn't say much. Um, and those guys probably pissed you off more than anybody. You're not going to talk to you, not going to say much. And at the end of the night, he's going to fry you like chicken. You're going to have 30 or 15 and they're going to win the championship. Um, <clears throat> you know, obviously, KG chooses a route that I really don't, you know, condone. You know what I'm saying? A lot of that talking and disrespect. But uh, you can't take away from what he's done on the basketball court and who he's been as a basketball player. Um, obviously, you know, coming in at such a young age um, and from the right from the get go, you know, being able to dominate this game of basketball on both ends of the floor. You know, you talk about two way player. He was one of the first guys to be able to do it at six eleven. you know, talking about guarding one through five and just the way he was disruptive on defense and then took it to the offensive floor and just approach both ends of the game, you know, with the same you know mentality and aggressiveness. So, you know, all those guys are great basketball players. And, um, you know, God rest the soul of Kobe, man. Um, you know, those guys definitely deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. My, don't, be loosely, don't, don't be loosely throwing around tough guys. Yeah, I know how I feel when we got to play the Celtics. I can't stand them motherfuckers. First of all. And I have nothing against, I, and I have, listen, on, and the crazy thing about it, can I tell I, a story about like it in the huddle, man? I like Tatum, and I like Brown. I would love for you to tell Can I tell I a story about it in the huddle, man? What? I, I like Tatum, I like Brown. Nah, Them not old this. motherfuckers, KG and Paul, I don't oh, fuck with y'all. Y'all know there that. There it go. It's cool. There it go. I don't fuck with y'all. Y'all know that. Let's get started. I'm cool on that. Fuck that. The young generation, y'all can create y'all own beef and y'all can create y'all own whatever. The more motherfuckers, y'all already know. I but, see y'all in the grocery store. It's on. <laughs> yeah, uh, that and, shit's and the crazy. And the, I don't care what aisle it is. It could be a 7-Eleven around the motherfucking cheese dip. It's like whatever. All that shit getting flipped over. Man, listen. <laughs> listen. That's just how I feel. Like, And they understand that. I told them that. Like, They know that. I don't fuck with them people. Udonis Haslam sends Paul Pierce a clear warning, telling him that he will really hurt him and he's going to spare him because he ain't really like that. You could tell UD serious because he took his glasses off and was like, I'm still my daddy's child, man. You could get hurt around here. Now, UD, I could tell he really hates Paul Pierce, man. There's real hate there. And if he's seen him, it will be on site. Even UD said that. And he said if he catches him in the grocery store, he flipping the aisle over. He don't care. He's standing on business. And that's what he's standing on. And he's still standing on that to this day. Because this podcast came out yesterday. Now, I appreciate y'all. And I love y'all, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Let me know what y'all think of Jeff T being an instigator. Staring up the pot with this again. And bringing it up to UD. 
and what UD said, sending Paul Pierce a warning, telling him to not play with him and that he will really hurt him. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Roll to 4K. See y'all next time. Peace and love, family.